after a four-day extravaganza for the Queen's Platinum Jubilee, there was one more Lil party for uh, the Royals. See what you do. Lilibet Diana has turned one, and her yes. mum and dad, Harry and Meghan, have shared an adorable photo to mark uh, the occasion. And look at the red hair! It's so, she's so adorable. Oh, and we've hair. been waiting for this, haven't uh, we? We were talking about it yesterday. Yes. It's like, where is the photo? Finally. Let's go to Royal Editor at the Daily Mail, Russell Myers in London. So when was her birthday and what do we know about the party? Morning, Belinda. Well, we know it was a sort of a classic intimate affair is how it's been put. And uh, before putting this picture out, we were sort of speculating as to when the Queen was going to be able to meet Lilibet, obviously for the first time, and whether they would be having a big party for her. But they decided to have a little picnic, a few, few of the kids around, a bit of face painting, very, very chilled affair. I mean, look at this glorious photo from Miss Anne Harriman, who also took the picture of Lily that you've just seen as well. A very, very low key. Miss Anne Harriman is taking and some beautiful behind the scenes shots with the Sussexes, both at uh, their, uh, their London, uh, their sort of UK home and their California home. And uh, Megan with no makeup, looking really, really chilled. And uh, I think everyone had a really nice time. And look at her, she is absolutely adorable. And look, they did keep a low profile, and it was lovely to see that they're actually still keeping that privately too, not just because they have to. But do you think now that we can see a different side of the Duke and Duchess post Jubilee? Because it seems like they're relaxing a bit mm. more now. Yeah, definitely. I mean, you look at the pomp and pageantry that was uh, on display over the, uh, the course of the last four days at the U in the UK, and they, they kind of looked a little bit awkward. We only we only saw them very very briefly at the Trooping the Colour. They were still inside the, the the big building at Horse Guards Parade. Didn't come out into public view, and then we saw them at the Thanksgiving service that unfortunately the Queen wasn't able to be at. But I just think, you know, you look at these pictures from uh, taken from Miss Anne Harriman at Frogmore Cottage with uh, Lily's birthday. They look so much more relaxed. And in that setting, that's obviously why they've left, isn't it? They, they, they didn't feel comfortable within the institution. And, uh, and it seems to be working for them. Yeah, totally. It's a bit of a battle of the photo drop, though, on social media. <laughs> because you've got that Harry and Megs with Lilibet. And then William and Kate post some unseen photos from the weekend. Uh, they wrote, we all had an incredible time especially Louis. <laughs> <laughs> well, of course. I mean, he absolutely stole the show. I mean, we're, we're all thinking about we should be a bit more like Prince Louis because he looked like he was just throwing, you know, a complete abandon to the, to the situation and just enjoying himself massively. I mean, these pictures are absolutely gorgeous. The Cambridges at some of the street parties they popped into, some of the behind-the-scenes photos at Buckingham Palace, peeking out, you know, waiting to see the sort of soldiers uh, go by at Trooping the Colour. They're lovely, lovely images of uh, the Queen and George as well. And, uh, the, you know, the kids, in, in contrast to the Sussex's kids, were really front and centre over the last four days. Very, very, that imagery, very, very much planned about how to present the future of the monarchy. And, um, you know, it was just, I'm just really privileged to be in that position, front and centre, uh, over the last few days. And it really was something that I'll, uh, I'll remember for a lifetime. I'm sure lots of people, other, other people will as well. Yeah, you're yeah. watching history in the making there, Russ. Great to have your insight on all this stuff, mate. Good to see you. Thanks, Russell. Cheers, Greg. I hope Thanks. you get some sleep now. Yeah. <laughs> Good morning. Now, we've just got a little bit of time, so I wanted to bring up Prince Louis. I think we were pretty unanimous and yeah. quite enjoying his behaviour. Mm. Uh, but. I actually saw online there's quite a significant amount of people calling him brattish and entitled and saying he's going to grow up to be Ooh. like his Prince Andrew. That's a bit harsh, don't you think? Big stretch from pulling a couple of faces. He's looking at a yeah. good time as well. Maybe if he was like 12 years old. <laughs> I mean, he's not even four. If he's four years old, I mean, you know. Shouldn't he be behaving himself, though? He's a royal. <laughs> he is a royal. He's got his whole life set out for him now. Go to one of your many luxurious rooms, young man. Yeah, exactly. Do you know what people were saying, too, if it was Meghan's children, whether she would have had more... I don't know if we want to open that whole can of worms <laughs> again, but whether she would have been more criticised than Kate Middleton. Meghan, yeah. That's the solution. Go and sit on Grandad's lap. Always yes. fixes everything. They're Megan. great photos, though, aren't they? I felt quite comforted because my children would have just torn that place apart. Well, it's, it's a PR genius stunt, isn't it? They're so relatable. Look how relatable they are. They're like, oh, you reckon they're blind up Prince <laughs> Louis? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. This yeah. is just... The, let's push this out. Let's get Louis out there. This is it just... Again. This is the Republican on the desk. It's it, all yeah, a bit yeah, of... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, we get all so your children wouldn't Louis. have done that? No, they? not if no. they were royal. No. no. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, they're not. <laughs> Slip Louis a red frog before going out there and said, yeah, go for it. Yeah, just go for your life, Go for it. 
yeah. <laughs> oh god. So there's a great picture too. You know when he does the the double rock out peace sign. Yeah. And Boris Johnson, someone's put Boris Johnson behind him, and it, it's made out like he's told Boris Johnson the double, <laughs> yeah, the yeah, double yeah. get lost. And, yeah. uh, and the right, Mike Tyndall going doing these ones. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Like you. Yeah. Which you do with Mike Tyndall. Oh, you, you wouldn't mess with him. Yeah, yeah whatever you say. Yeah, next to Boris. <laughs> it is, look, I think everyone that's got children will be sitting at home looking at Kate and empathising and having yeah. been in that situation. Mm. So oh, it's yeah. Nice it's always uh, promising them treats. That's what we always do. That's it. Yeah. You behave yourself, you'll get a donut. Bluey Taking when you your get home. iPad away the minute we get home from Buckingham Palace. That's it, that's it. <laughs> no Wi-Fi for you. <laughs>